we have 10 numbers here whose mean is 75. So these 10 numbers are arranged somewhere around 75. Maybe they're close to 75. Maybe they're far from 75. I don't know, but they're somewhere around 75. And their deviations above 75 cancel out with their deviations below 75. So that's what statement one tells us. And from that on its own, we can't possibly infer the highest score on the test. Statement two gives us a standard deviation, which is really just a measurement of how spread out the data points are around 75. So we can compare standard deviations. We could say that the data points would be more spread out if the standard deviation was 10 than they would be if the standard deviation was 5. That's an inference that we need to be able to make on the GMAT. But telling us the exact value of the standard deviation without any basis for comparison is really not very powerful at all. Without knowing where we are on the number line, we certainly can't find the biggest of the data points. Now, even if we combine these statements, so now we do know where we are on the number line, we are right at around 75 as the mean, and we know exactly how spread out the numbers are on average, but we don't know how spread out the highest data point is from the average. In other words, knowing the average deviation from the mean, which is kind of like standard deviation, does not allow me to infer the actual deviations. It, it just gives me kind of an average deviation from the mean. So if you ask me, well, but how big is the biggest deviation above the mean? Because that would allow us to find the highest score. Well, I don't know what the biggest deviation above the mean is. All I know is the standard deviation, which you can think of as the average deviation. How big is the average deviation from the mean does not allow me to infer how big the biggest deviation above the mean is. And that's why the correct answer here is E. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.